Okay, so, uh, nope. uh, er, uh, I've made an improvement. So typically, Daniel Put your glass down. pours this and makes me hold it and smell it for what seems like forever. And then eventually we'll get around to tasting it after several minutes of talking about historical things that I will forget 30 seconds from now. <laughs> We're making a very <laughs> critical change. First thing, you hit play, video's going, and we're tasting some damn whiskey. Fair and enough. we can go on and on and on. So, what do we get? What's the name well, of it? Well, I will say from now on, look at the title of these videos mm -hmm. before you watch them, and you get a chance to go buy this whiskey and taste it along with us. Sure. Fair enough. So today it's Long Grow Red. 11-year-old aged in Shir Australian Shiraz mm -hmm. casks. Australian Shiraz. They, no, they do good wine. Yes, they do. Yeah, okay. Cheers. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Yes. Now here's the thing. Immediately, immediately says so a lot of personalities like, oh, this is gonna be aggressive. But then it doesn't go really deep and hurt me. Shiraz Yeah. 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 So and here's why. This is a Campbelltown whiskey. Okay. And for those who don't know what Campbelltown whiskey is, it's the whiskey that people think they're talking about when they talk about Isla whiskeys. <laughs> mm. Not really. Isla whiskeys are really smoky, but Campbelltown whiskeys are all the heavy, oily aggression. Right. Right? It's like the Detroit of Scotland. <laughs> right? That, so while the Isla whiskeys smell like campfire, mm -hmm. the Campbelltown whiskeys smell like an oil spill. Mm. Right? And you have this just antiseptic, yeah. phenol, oily, you know what I'm getting? roughneck, grease monkey I'm getting action. chlorinated pool Yeah. on the back end. There's a spring bank we'll get to later that my first smell always gives me wet band-aids. <laughs> <laughs> and it's one of my favorites, which doesn't sound like it should be, but it is. Mm, I like that. Ah, oh, this is so good. So Campbelltown whiskey I love. There was a point in history when, uh, now they only have three distilleries. Right. But there was a point in history when they were referred to as the whiskey capital of the world. Which makes me wonder if it's sort of like Austin Wait, calling the, itself the, day. the music <laughs> capital of the world, right? right? And it's like, oh, hey, that? we did. We did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there more live music in Austin than anywhere else in the world? Probably. Sure. Sure, why not? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah we're going to go with that. We did a study. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Campbelltown at one point there was a ton of distilleries. Now there's three primary distilleries. Um, and one of them is Springbank. Mm -hmm. Springbank makes three whiskeys. Springbank, Long Grow and Hazelburn. Now Hazelburn is their unpeated whiskey. Mm -hmm. Springbank is their middle of the road, uh, like two and a half times distilled, and Longro, uh, I think is two okay. times distilled and heavily peated. Not heavily, but peated. I, they do have a Longro heavy peat. This is the Longro. I understand half the shit. things you said. Yeah, well, you know, you're learning. Yes. Yeah. I'm at the, I'm at the 50%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good. Uh, double distilled. We'll talk about distillation at some point, but not today. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is a fifth generation owned Mitchell family distillery right here. I love Stayed uh, in the yes, family. The Mitchells. Five, I mean, now, this isn't one of those stories that was like sold to Grant, sold to William, sold to Mitchell, back to Grant, back to Mitchell. We got Doug. Back to Doug. There you go. Yeah, this is just one family hanging out. You want to hear my uh, Campbelltown joke? Oh, okay, it's a joke. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, not a rant. You thought I was about to say a rant, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. all right. So there's a girl that gets on a bus in Glasgow, mm -hmm. and the bus driver turns to her and says, Oi, that there is the ugliest baby I've ever seen. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself bringing a baby like that out in public. That's disgusting. <laughs> and the bus driver turns to her and says, uh, or she goes to the back of the bus and she's crying. Gentleman leans over her shoulder and says, Oi, why are you crying? She says, well, that bus driver up there just said the most horrible thing to me that Anaman's ever said before. Mm -hmm. He said, well, you can't let them get away with that. You've got to get up there and give them a piece of your mind. I'll hold your monkey. <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs> to me, that joke is Campbelltown whiskeys. That's the kind of joke that belongs in Campbelltown. Mm. You know what? I think I'm actually going to finish a whiskey now that we started drinking right at the beginning. Of mm. Mm. That's either a good or a bad thing. You got more than me. I did. I think you just drank faster. I'm gonna go with you, drank faster. That's how you treat your guests. Yeah, you know, like fish, they say. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, well, I'll finish this one too. Until tomorrow, you have nothing left to cheers with. I do, look, right there. All right, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Till tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side of legal and may you return to us before we have time to miss you. Cheers.